Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. This is going to be Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon and uh, Cancer Rising, a weekly tarot reading for March 22, uh, April 22nd, excuse me, to April 28, uh, 2019. So once I'm finished uh, with the shuffling of the cards, we are going to jump straight away into uh, the reading itself. All right. So the first card about uh, cancers here, which is the topic of their week, that is going to be the uh, Seven of Cups, followed by the second card, which is uh, the uh, challenges that cancers needs to overcome throughout the week, that is going to be the Five of Swords, followed by the third card, which points to the positivity in the cancers week, that is going to be the uh, Justice card. And the last one that we do have, it is the guidance that Saro has for cancers here. That is going to be the sun. So once again, we do have the uh, seven of cups followed by the uh, five of swords. After that, what we do have, it is the ace, uh, it is the <laughs> justice card. And the last one for you guys, that is going to be the sun. So the general message of these cards, just as an overview thing, is just take it easy, guys. It's, it's all wrapped up, all right? Everything is rather like settled and you don't have to go very far, you know, to execute your plans or to make your things or relationships rather better. So uh, with the Seven of Cups as a topic of your week here, uh, you may be prone to uh, daydream and to kind of like set unrealistic goals for yourself or rather unrealistic way how to achieve a certain goals of yours. Now, a very important thing to be said with the Seven of Cups is that it is very unlikely that one can do something so wrong that it is beyond any repair or it is, it is beyond any backtracking the thing however with the seven of uh, seven of swords did i say it's the seven of cups so the thing with the seven of cups however it, it, it however is is that if you go the wrong path or if you start doing the wrong thing uh i got something in my eye guys i'm sorry so yeah uh, if you start doing the wrong thing or you are striving toward the wrong goal here uh or you know you're trying to impress the wrong person and so on and so forth a, a disappointment is going to set you back on track. Oh my God, what is going on with my eye? All right. So a disappointment is going to set you back on track. So whatever you are disappointed throughout this week, this is not the, th uh, the thing, the way, the enterprises or whatever, you know, that you got to chase at least for the duration of this week, April 22nd to uh, April 28th. The accompanied card of the Seven of Cups here, that is going to be the Two of Cups. So we are talking about either cooperation or a uh, over or, or over exaggerated love. I cannot say that the love is fake with these cards, but maybe it's over exaggerated. Or in the worst case scenario, it is wrongly placed love, meaning that you may love someone who doesn't love you, all right? So it's very important here, or, you know, you can be swayed to do certain things out of love with, uh, and the person that wants you to do those, those things are not going to uh, appreciate your performance. 
So that being said, uh, for you cancers, it's going to be very wise that week not to take any, uh, any kind of initiations or do any kind of actions purely out of love, but you also have to incorporate certain logic, logic behind, or you gotta ask yourself, why should I do that, all right? Or why should I chase that person? Because here, love, sympathy, and solidarity should not be enough, all right? There should be some other prerequisite or some other argument behind your actions. Uh, the reason for that is the challenge here that you need to overcome and that is going to be the five of swords Remember what I said you may not be appreciate for that you gave your heart Into a to help someone or to give your heart into someone the five of swords in a very grim and dreadful Interpretation it could mean that you will have to face humiliation, right? So you explain yourself in love to someone and he mocks you out, right? Or he just brags about it and he laugh he laughs at you same thing could happen into your career you know you help you help someone and they completely unappreciate what you did and they are kind of like um how can i place it um what do you call when when someone is um is pretending that they did everything while they have done nothing it's it's the same kind of story here the challenge for you, long story short, cancers, is to understand your limits, to understand the boundaries that you are building up when it comes to other people, all right? And not to allow anybody into the sacred place of your life, meaning into uh, the environment of or the influence of your soul here. And the thing with this card is that it will be very challenging to recognize who your friends are. Right, so you have to be also vigilant about that. The accompanied card that is going to be the seven of swords, and we definitely have a some people which will try to take advantage of your kindness, love, sympathy, you know, and solidarity as well. So, for that reason, we do have the virtuous of yours, and that is going to be the justice. So, whatever it is to happen throughout the week. Just this points that you, the first and foremost, you will start thinking about your accountability in regarding to the situation, not to, make, not to mention as well that justice, law and order are going to be in order, all right? Or they, they will have their, uh, their influence upon your situations and upon your week as well. However, you will have that acute discernment of the situation as well. And the only thing that can truly push you go out of your limits, out of your boundaries that you have set in front of yourself is love. And that's why we did had the two of cups here into the, uh, as a catalyst to the seven of cups. And think it, uh, th think it that way, guys. Let's say that your child really struggles with a certain discipline, all right? Let's say with math. And instead of kind of like uh, pushing your child to learn math, you did, you are doing their homework without them learning anything, all right? So in reality, you help them for a short, uh, for a short term. That is a short term help. But they haven't learned anything, so they will continue on sucking mud. So uh, this is this is kind of a help that we are um, talking about. And if you think that your child will appreciate that you solve their homework, you're gravely mistaken here. I mean, they're gonna take advantage furthermore and asking you always to do their homework. It, it is a similar situation. It doesn't have to be with your children here when we do have justice. But it does look like that you will be able as well to very well sort your plans and priorities for throughout the week. The accompanied card here that is going to be the seven of uh, pentacles. So pretty much the whole situation logically is going to be clear to you, uh, clear to you here with these cards. We are having active, uh, active enemies and uh, your logic will tell you what you got to do. You know, the only thing that uh, the only mistake that you're going to do here is if you listen to your heart over your brain. For you cancers both throughout this week, your brain should be the leading force, should be the virtue, should be the logic, all right? The logic should be the one that dictates the rules. And should you follow your logic, it seems that you're going to sort out your environment, your career, your relationship in a, a very, uh, how can I place it, in a very comfortable way for yourself. 
And the last card that we do have for you guys that is going to be the Sun card. So that is the Guidance. And the Sun card points that should you face troublesome situation, you need to allow that situation to unfold very, very naturally. naturally. Additionally to that, you do have... Um, you, you need to take advantage of those energies which are expanding on growth that you are uh, that you are obtaining. Additionally to that, the sun promises that you will have a vital and enthusiastic drive and that drive is going to be specific for a certain enterprises and endeavors and you gotta follow that drive. And lastly with the sun card, that everybody who is in your company is going to be quite happy. They're going to see a really cheerful person in your behalf. And I can also advise you to take advantage of that as well, to sort some arguments that you do have with certain people, you know, or some misunderstandings as well. The accompanied card here, that is going to be the um, eight, of, uh, eight of Pentacles. And uh, how can I place it? Uh, well, first of all, the, co the combo here is active, uh, active neutrals. And it seems that uh, things, complicated things are gonna become way more simplistic for throughout this week. And that's why you gotta follow your, uh, you gotta follow, follow your logic here to spot that uh, simplified solution of your problems or that simplicity of the situation to decide should you involve yourself in or should you not. But uh, just to finalize my words here, Cancers, do not allow anybody to exploit your emotions because we do have such people, especially in your friendship circle as the Five of Swords mainly refers to them, you know, that you are going to follow some Hippocratic, uh, Hippocratic uh, friends, or rather like uh, two uh, double faces friends, or you may fall for their trap and so on and so forth. So yeah, put put people under a test, if I may express myself that way, before you give your full devotion to them. So that being said, guys, this was your weekly tarot reading for April 22nd to April 28th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.